This has been a year to remember and a year to celebrate. As the pandemic began to slow, we moved forward. We have come closer to our capital campaign goal, received building permits, and had a groundbreaking event. We began major renovations in our emergency housing units. We have new roofs, new fences, and half of the shelters we own have been completely renovated. We added an additional rented shelter to our housing stock, making the number of shelters we utilize for emergency safe housing 14. All of this while providing the quality services to people experiencing violence and homelessness that our community has come to rely on. As I mentioned last year, Samaritan House launched a capital campaign because of the uptick in traffic minors in recent years. This year, we broke ground on the hollow, an all-inclusive safe haven for traffic minors. After months of getting approvals, adjustments to building plans, construction is finally underway. We anticipate this project to be completed within the next six to nine months. This facility will be the first of its kind in Hampton Roads and will provide safe shelter, classroom space for education, a recreation room, and a multitude of therapeutic services for minors that have been trafficked in our region. As many of you may know, our shelters are single-family homes and townhouses scattered throughout the city. What you may not be aware of is most of them were built around the 1980s or prior. We experience plumbing issues, broken pipes, roof leaks, and worn out air conditioners on a regular basis. All of our properties were built on a cement slab, resulting in higher than normal repair costs. Thanks in large part to support from the Jeff Bezos Day One Family Fund and our newly formed real estate committee, we have completed major repairs on six shelters and hope to have all shelters fully renovated in the next two years. We are thankful for many of you in this room today who assisted with furnishing and decorating these shelters after they were completed. We were fortunate to open our 14th shelter because Ross and Christy Winfield purchased a home and made it available for our program participants. This is our fourth shelter dedicated specifically for human trafficking clients. Because of this gesture, so many more lives will be changed. Although all these large projects presented us with challenges, our commitment to keep families safe remained unwavering. Our courageous program staff continued to work through the pandemic and remain steadfast amidst our operational challenges. And because of the support we received from the WAVE Luncheon, we were able to assist everyone seeking support. With the proceeds from last year's WAVE Luncheon, we were able to house an additional 64 families in emergency shelter. That's a total of 287 adults and children. An additional 75 families were placed in hotels. Our victim advocates assisted 610 victims with safety planning and navigating the legal system. 81 new families were permanently housed through our Housing Now program, and over 500 had continued case management and support. And finally, 49 people were served through our anti-trafficking department. We thank you for being part of Samaritan House's story and ask that you continue to believe in better futures for our families in need.